Hello YouTube family, this month I'm going to talk about a topic that may be not related to everybody but maybe to a small group of patients that are suffering from glaucoma because I'm going to talk about uh, food to avoid if you have glaucoma. On the flip side, I'm going to talk about what are the foods that is supposed to help you if you're suffering from glaucoma. So here we go. The first thing you probably would never guess that is you know, bad for your health, bad for your glaucoma is coffee. Okay, again, uh, studies have found that, you know, coffee have a potential to increase your eye pressure. As we all know, glaucoma is related to pressure inside the eye is being too high, causing damages to the optic nerve. So coffee has studied to um, support that. If you drink like three cups of coffee daily, you have increased your uh, chances of uh, glaucoma by four times. So especially those that have genetic predispositions of having glaucoma, such as family history of glaucoma. So if you are a heavy drinker, be aware because it's, you know, your chances of having glaucoma increase if you are drinking too many cups of coffee. So um, if you're the kind that cannot work without drinking coffee and you have family history of glaucoma, my advice for you is, again, maybe drinking um, you know, decaffeinated coffee will be a solution to, to the problem that you have. And again, uh, next one, I want to also advise for those patients suffering from glaucoma is, of course, simple thing, water. So we already know that hydration is important for our body, for our health. However, studies have also found that if you drink a quarter, a quart of water in a less than five minutes, We'll, no, we'll notice that the pressure inside the eye also simultaneously increase. Now again, don't get me wrong that you, ha you have to stay away from water, but again, just drink water slowly, do not drink it in a hurry. So because again, especially those suffering from glaucoma, you can have a spike of eye pressure increase if you're drinking the water too fast. Now, enough for bad news, how about some interesting question, yes? Um, if you have glaucoma, should I drink alcohol? Alcohol is, again, is a neutral. There's no effect to, um, to, um, to the eye pressure at all. Um, again, um, you know, there's people you know, worry about, hey, um, drinking too much alcohol is going to affect the, um, the eye health, the, the eye pressure. But again, there's study to, um, to, to uh, support that. Alcohol actually have a effect of decreasing your eye pressure for a you know, short period of time. So alcohol is neutral. There's no, um, no uh, harm for you to drink alcohol if you are suffering from glaucoma. But again, I want you to know, just like anything, moderation is the key. And as, as we know, um, alcohol will able to you know, affect your, your driving also. So make sure that you drink responsibly. And how about vitamin? If I have, um, if I take vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, does it have any impact to my eye pressure at all? Um, again, the interesting thing is, vitamin have no impact on eye pressure. It doesn't um, increase or decrease the eye pressure, and there's so no detrimental side effect by taking any of those um, um, uh, vitamin. So. If you have glaucoma and you can just continue your uh, vitamin consumption just as usual. Next one is an interesting one. A lot of people saying that you know, marijuana actually have a good impact to uh, glaucoma. It, a lot of people say even you know, I'm taking medicinal marijuana because of glaucoma. But again, marijuana have, do have a temporary decrease in your eye pressure. However, the, the duration of decreasing your pressure is so, so short. So you really have to take, constantly taking the marijuana all the time in order to have a significant impact to your uh, pressure lowering. So again, th looking at the, uh, the side effect of marijuana such, such as lung cancer, you know, emphysema, as well as losing judgment and all the detrimental effect of um, marijuana, um, I would say marijuana is out, you know, so again, do not, you know, think that you are able to cure glaucoma by, you know, taking marijuana and don't let your friend convince you to. Okay, so 
How about um, food and drink that is good for your um, uh, glaucoma uh, uh, condition? First thing I would suggest you to do is taking um, um, vegetable, leafy vegetable because they are rich in nitrate. We realized that, you know, recent study is talking about nitric oxide is the pathway that is being affected when you have glaucoma. So taking food that is high in nitrate, we're able to, again, reverse or uh, repair the damage that's done by other uh, causes. Uh, what are the food that is rich in nitrate? Is the green leafy vegetables such as kale, spinach, you know, also any kind of leafy green vegetable that will be good for your um, uh, nitric oxide pathway. So that is one of the good thing. And the next thing is tea. Green tea, white tea, um, you know, uh, black tea, those actually have a, um, a chemical inside called vevenol. Vevenol is actually is, you know, um, have a, is an antioxidant, reduce the oxidative uh, stress of, uh, and improve your blood flow. And again, as we know, glaucoma is a condition because of eye pressure too high or poor circulation around the optic nerve. Um, taking tea uh, does have an improvement uh, in reducing your chance of glaucoma. And then uh, the next one that is recommended is uh, ginkgo biloba. And uh, those are the, also is another um, um, antioxidant rich food that you're able to help you with your uh, circulation as well as decreasing your risk of glaucoma. And of course, your parents is always right, eat more fruit. And uh, again, the reason, now again, remember just now vitamin A, E, and C have no impact, but again, fruit is different. Fruit, they have natural occurring uh, antioxidant carotenol, and such as, you know, peaches and citrus fruit, they are actually um, helpful in uh, uh, controlling glaucoma and also, you know, reducing your risk of glaucoma. In summary, I just want you to, again, for those patients suffering from glaucoma or patients that have family history of glaucoma, a few advice for you is limit your coffee drink a cup or two a day, but not more than that, preferably decaffeinated coffee, or maybe you can even change your habit into drinking tea instead, and take uh, nitrate-rich uh, uh, leafy green vegetable to help you with your nitric oxide pathway, and uh, also avoid um, excessive water in a short period of time. And then also, just like anything else, you know, have some moderate exercise. They're also proven to help you with your eye pressure as well. And uh, thank you for your attention, and I will see you next month.